Am I crazy for trying to do this? I'm attempting Mount Weld as a day trip today. Uh, it's 8.20 a.m. in the morning. I just had to ride my bike about 10 kilometers from a damaged bridge from the bushfires. Um, the walk starts with three. This is gonna be a tough walk, I reckon. Just over three kilometers I've been walking for and I'm at this creek crossing which is the outlet to stream to Trout Lake. Uh, the cutting grass sort of was less prevalent over that last kilometer but the forest was, it's really nice but the tape is quite vague, you know, I wandered off at one point um, and it's meant to be a bit trickier as I start climbing up towards Mount Weld. I was wrong. This is the Trout Lake outlet stream. And that means I've taken, well, it's taken an hour 50 to get here and I was hoping to get here in about an hour and a half. So I thought I was ahead of time before, but maybe not. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly fill up the bottles and get going. It's 11.25 a.m. so I've been walking for three hours and five minutes and in another three hours and five minutes at 2.30 that's my turn back time and I'm starting to worry that you know I'm not gonna make it. Am I crazy for trying to do this? Anyway the tape is yeah you can follow it but there's no defined track or anything it's pretty much just like off track walking but there's ever a piece of tape every now and then Just after 12.30, that was a grueling hour of walking. It was essentially scrub bashing. There was a little bit of a track underfoot, but it was just enveloped by Scaparia, Pandani, Bowra, you name it. And it all would just latch onto my legs and cling on for dear life as I tried to push through. Anyway, I'm at this kind of clearing. Uh, up that way is towards Mount Weld. I think the actual true high point is sort of over that way. But yeah, it's not too much longer until that little unnamed lake below the summit. How good is this spot? Um, a lot of people camp here if they do it as an overnighter, but it's about 45 to 60 minutes from the summit from here, from what I've read, and it's 1.12 p.m. So I should get there before my turn back time. Gee, I would love to have a swim in that lake. Maybe on the way back so I can make sure I get to the summit.
well, five hours and 35 minutes after leaving the uh, bike, the, um, I'm at the summit of Mount Weld. <sighs> that is the highest rock over there. I can't believe I did it, to be honest. Look, you got some remnants of a trig station here. Anyway, let's go through the views. The snowy range, the snowy north, Nevada Peak, snowy south, Wellington range over there, out towards the Huon Valley, down the ridge. Is it Frederick Ridge? I can't quite remember. Then you've got behind it, Hart's Peak, Adamson's Peak, that's Mount Picton. You can make out Ma Mount La Perouse, as well as, uh, is that Mount Bob's? Could be. And then you've got Precipitous Bluff behind it. Ironbound Range, there's Federation Peak way down there. Uh, yep, that one. Going across towards the Western Arthurs, you can see some areas where it was, which was hit by fire. That's a lovely looking mountain range. Snell's Ridge, Lake Pedder, Mount Anne Massif. You've got Mount Anne, Mount Sam Jaden, Lot's Wife, Mount Lot. And then we'll quickly run over here. And we've got Mount Wedge over there. You can make out Lake Gordon, Frenchman's Cap, Clear Hill, Stepped Hills, the Thumbs, Mount Mueller, Wilds Craig, the Jubilee Range, and Mount Field National Park behind it. And actually that's the Maydina Range as well. Unbelievable walk so far. I was quite fatigued on that last bit, and I've still got to get back down. Here's a little fun fact. Today is December the 29th, 2019, which means I'm probably going to be the last person to climb Mount Weld this decade, given tomorrow's 40 degrees, windy and thunderstorms. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a cool little thing for me to hold on to. Um, but what an incredible walk. Really, really demanding. All the scrub, the constant climbing, but such beautiful places as well, like this lake, the views from the top, the forest, I should be able to get back to the bike before dark, but getting to the car, I'm not sure. It might end up being kind of twilight. See you next video. I left the summit at 2.34, so it took me five hours and four minutes to make my way back to the bike.